right, coming up next, it's a Bantamweight matchup between Magic Marlon Marais and Aljamain Sterling. two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Oh, nice land there was the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge reach. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. And he landed the right hand there. Nice punch there by Marlon Marais. Both fighters throwing heat now. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Overhand attempt now, it's blocked by Marlon Marais. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. Overwhelming him with different attacks. And just over 20 total strikes, as you see there, have landed for Aljamain Sterling. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end thus far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Big. Looks like it did stun him a little bit. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. Under a minute to go. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting. He's just the fight thus far. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Effective punch there by Marais. 20 seconds left. Oh. So there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as it can. Round two, Marlon Marais okay, round two, ready? and Aljamain ready? Sterling. Now let's go. Oh, big punch land. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. The hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Trying to double up on that jab. Well, the numbers continue to pile up. 54 total strikes, as you see there, have landed for Magic Marlon Marais. And landing with 38% accuracy there tonight against Aljamain Sterling. 
Lee, what a punch. Back and forth we go. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Out of range with that one. strike to the body really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection and these will take their man he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad oh trying to establish that jab once again nice defense on the single leg takedown you can tell he's worked on that it's very tricky when he throws that body kick all right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Just misses with the jab there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big, powerful punch. Oh. Huge right hand! Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Oh, on that one, snap the head back. The referee has seen enough. Winner by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. Tonight, but we're going to get to some highlights from this one. This was a fight that added all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 31 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Marlon Magic Marais! Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I gotta think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you set up 